After completing her household chores early morning, Monima spends most of the day farming in her fields. As is the story of millions of farmers in India, Monima and her family have no means of sustenance other than these fields. Ironically, Monima could have earned a better income. Farmers like her grow a rich diversity of crops. From pulses and millets to even high-value cashew crops. But because they don't have electricity, they can't process this produce and end up selling the raw material to middlemen at a very meagre price. Two years ago, when the village was assured of electricity supply, Spread, a local NGO, thought of an idea that could help tribal women improve their livelihood. Basic idea was that if Bhelu will be added to their product, so they can sell it in the market and they will get better price. In this area, there are many cashew nuts fields are there. I mean, huge quantity of cashew nuts are there. So we try to uh, establish a cashew processing unit for the tribal women. But what happened, uh, we procured the machine and everything, but this energy was not there. We failed to, there was a big loss also for that. The excitement is palpable as this new system is about to end Bilaput's long wait for electricity. For Terry and SDC, who have been working on the gasification technology in India for over two decades, this is also a new milestone. Building upon their own experience and improving it with support of the Danish Technical University and a Swiss agency called FN Art, the partners together came up with a technology called the two-stage biomass gasifier. The idea was to transfer the technology from there to India and customize it to the Indian needs and to the Indian markets so that it could at the end be fabricated and, and designed uh, locally here in India. This area is, has a lot of biomass uh, which come from forest and from the agriculture field which can uh, provide a good resource to develop local power uh, using uh, gasifier technology which is most viable uh, in the current context. The conventional gasifier technology converts woody biomass into gaseous fuel but produces high amount of tar in the process. As water is used to filter tar from gas, it also generates a lot of tar-laden wastewater. Disposing this wastewater is a big environmental concern. The two-stage gasifier has overcome these difficulties by creating two separate zones. Pyrolysis, where biomass is converted in charcoal and gaseous products, and the gasifier zone. In the intermediary is a high-temperature tar cracking zone where tar further breaks down into gas. The raw gas with negligible tar content moves through the gasifier reactor and then through a cleaning and cooling system before being fed to an engine to generate electricity. Compared to the conventional gasifier, the two-stage gasifier delivers far better results. Nearly 30% reduction in specific fuel consumption. Nearly 95% reduction in tar generation. And zero wastewater generation. One of the main advantage of the two-stage gasifier over the conventional one-stage is the fact that maintenance is reduced significantly and that reliability is also improved very much. It's a new technology which has not been seen elsewhere in Asia as far as we know. In Bilaput village, tribal women who till now sold their produce of ragi at a throwaway price will now earn double the income by selling ragi flour. But it doesn't stop here. 
In the pilot installation in Raigada in Odisha, the two-stage biomass gasifier has demonstrated more possibilities. In addition to providing electricity to the uh, micro-enterprise in Raigada project, uh, what we have also achieved is to get an approval from the Regulatory Commission of Odisha to connect the surplus power that the gasifier will generate into local grid. So, which basically means that the gasifier, power from that gasifier would therefore be available to be connected to a village transformer. In Satna in Madhya Pradesh, women artisans in this training center make bamboo handicraft and incense stick. In making these products, nearly 70 to 80 percent of bamboo is left behind as waste. This was a perfect opportunity for the two-stage gasifier. A gasifier unit can help us utilize the wasted bamboo. This electricity can power all our machines. So the waste will become the raw material for generating electricity. This will also decrease the production cost of incense sticks. The profit earned by selling them will be helpful for the women and other members of the self-help groups. Bamboo waste has turned into wealth, generating 25 kilowatt of power through the gasifier. Not only is this a reliable source of electricity, the saving on grid electricity will also make this enterprise more profitable. With the pilot installations of these two-stage gasifiers that were done under the project, I think we were able to demonstrate that, that it works, that the technology is ripe, and uh, in that sense it could really become an option for uh, scaling up and through that for contributing to the renewable energy uh, the goals and, and targets that are there for India uh, to meeting its energy needs of the future. The two-stage biomass gasifier has been recognized under Mission Innovation, a global initiative of 22 countries and the European Union to accelerate global clean energy innovation. It is among the nine shortlisted innovations showcased by the Indian government at the Expo 2017 held in Kazakhstan, focusing on the theme Future Energy. It has also evoked interest in Japan and Colombia for utilizing bamboo to produce electricity. In Indonesia and the Philippines, it is being explored for electrification of islands.